Hello, I'm Judson Brandeis, board certified urologist and Hive 80 member. The following content was created by the Urology Care Foundation. Even though there's no known reason for prostate cancer, there are many risks associated with the disease. First of all, age. As men age, their risk of getting prostate cancer goes up. It is rarely found in men younger than age 40. Damage to the genetic material of prostate cells is more likely for men over the age of 55. Damaged or abnormal prostate cells can begin to grow out of control and form tumors. Age is a well-known risk factor for prostate cancer, but smoking and being overweight are more closely linked with dying from prostate cancer. Now, African Americans have by far the highest incidence of disease. One in six African American men will get prostate cancer. African American men are more likely to get prostate cancer at an earlier age. They are also more likely to have aggressive tumors that grow quickly, spread, and cause death. That reason why prostate cancer is more prevalent in African American men is unclear, yet it may be due to socioeconomic, environmental, diet, or other factors. Other ethnicities like Hispanic or Asian men are less likely to get prostate cancer. Men with a family history of prostate cancer also face a higher risk of developing the disease. A man is two to three times more likely to get prostate cancer if his father or brother had it. This risk increases with the number of relatives diagnosed with prostate cancer. The age when a close relative was diagnosed is also an important factor. Studies show that prostate cancer risk may double for heavy smokers. Smoking is also linked to a higher risk of dying from prostate cancer. However, within 10 years of quitting, your risk for prostate cancer goes down to that of non-smokers the same age. Prostate cancer numbers and death vary around the world but are higher in North America and Northern Europe. Higher rates may be due to better or more screening procedures, heredity, poor diet, lack of exercise habits, and environmental exposures. Diet and lifestyle may also affect the risk of prostate cancer. It isn't exactly clear how. Your risk may be higher if you eat more calories, animal fats, refined sugar, and not enough fruits and vegetables. Lack of exercise is also linked to poor outcomes. Obesity is known to increase a man's risk of dying from prostate cancer. One way to decrease your risk is to lose weight and to keep it off. Can prostate cancer be prevented? Doing things that are heart healthy will also keep your prostate healthy. Eating right, exercising, watching your weight, and not smoking can be good for your health and help you avoid prostate cancer. Some healthcare providers believe drugs like finasteride, also known as Proscar, and dutastride, also known as Avidar, can prevent prostate cancer. Others believe they only slow the development of prostate cancer. Studies do show that men taking these drugs are less likely to be diagnosed with prostate cancer. Still, it is not clear if these drugs are effective, so you should talk to your doctor about the possible side effects. This is Dr. Judson Brandeis, urologist and Hive 80 member. Thank you for your attention. Tune back in to Hive 80 for continual medical and wellness information. Wishing you the best of health.